Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am using the Makeup Geek in the Nude palette. Yes, when you use this palette you have to say in the nude. Kind of sexy, kind of saucy, except that didn't really sound sexy and saucy, but you know what I was trying to say. Anyways, I really love Mesa Marlena. I love some Makeup Geek. I just love these colors. So check out these beautiful colors. Even though this is the first time I have filmed this uh, using this palette, be -dee, be -dee, be -dee. Ugh, some mornings I'm just tongue tied. Uh, even I have taken this with me. I've traveled with it. I've used this several times. It is just a great palette to keep at the tips of your fingers. So we have colors like Rapunzel, In the Spotlight. Um, so pale. We have creased, buffed, tan lines, dark rose grand sand, and cabin fever. So in this eye look, I used a combo with the exception of Rapunzel and in the spotlight. Other than that, I played with the rest of the colors, blending, mixing, etc. to come up with this eye look. So if you want to see how I created this eye look using one of my favorite makeup products ever, Makeup Geek. Thank you so much for Marlena for getting into this business. We absolutely love and adore you. So if you do want to see this eye look, please stay tuned. Okay, we're going to use some So Pale, just like my skin, on the brow bone, in the inner corner. Then we're going to use some Buffed. That's going to be our transition color. So I'm going closer to the brow bone and above the transition. I'm sorry, above the crease. Then we're going to come in with some tan lines and that's going to start our crease color. As always, I love me some Makeup Geek. These things just go on so pretty and effortlessly, and they're so reasonably priced. Then we are going to take some Cabin Fever. We're going to work this on the outer third of the eye and then into the crease. really pretty combination so far. Not that it's any surprise what it's going to look like. Okay, now we're getting into the dark roast. We're just going to have this on the outer corner of the eye. And softly blending up to move, remove any harsh lines. So it's all nice and blended together. Now I'm going to take a flat brush with the color oh man i just put my fingernail in cabin fever oh i hate when that happens okay sorry off track grandstand so we're going to take this really pretty shimmery color here i just love it i love all her eyeshadows i'm really serious y'all i would not steer you wrong by these eyeshadows before you buy anyone else's you may not ever buy another eye palette, I promise. I buy eye palettes because I like to test them. But when I want a good eye look, I don't want to worry about the must fuss and how something holds up. Always go to Makeup Geek. And that just is so pretty. Come on now, you know you like some grandstand. Sweep off any excess, which there wasn't really any. And then I'm going to take, what am I going to take? I don't see it. Oh, here it is. I'm going to take the Essence Dip Eyeliner. I used it yesterday for the first time. It's an ultra soft tip, so it kind of feels a little weird for me because it is a tip like that. So it's not as fine as some of those pencils, not pencils, those liquid liners like, say, the Kat Von D one. And it's not a brush, so it's really interesting. So I just go really careful since it doesn't have a super fine tip. 
and just work my way back. And what I do like about it is it is waterproof and I will take anything I can to help me with my allergies. I think that side went on a little higher. It goes on really well. So I don't know, that I'm really getting a kick out of using that. Then for eye mascara, instead of mustache mascara, I don't know, um, is the Marc Jacobs. I really like this little bad boy. So I've already curled my eyelashes off camera. And that's the basic look using this palette. So I'm going to go try to fix this lovely hair and I'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching today and me trying out the Makeup Geek in the Nude with you. I really do like this palette. I've actually used it several times. Take, I've taken it with me traveling. I just love nudes, but even more than loving in the nude, I love Makeup Geek. So Makeup Geek never lets me down. Their formulas are beautiful. They're creamy. They don't have a lot of fallout. They have great color payoff. They're inexpensive or very reasonable for the price point and the, and the pan size. If you haven't ever tried Makeup Geek, you really need to get your hands on some colors and I promise you, you will have a hard time using anything else because you're constantly going to um, compare that brand to Makeup Geek. So if you have used Makeup Geek, please put your comments below. I'd like to hear what some of your favorite colors are. And if you haven't subscribed, knock or touch that little subscribe button if you um or refer me to a friend i'll take friends too i want everyone in the family so thank you again and i hope you have a wonderful so until next time